And the 13th annual Wiregrass Area Memorial Day ceremony will be taking place uh, next Monday. And here to tell us more about the event is Robert and Andrew Bird. And thank y'all so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So tell us, y'all have got a very interesting keynote speaker. Tell us a little bit about who's going to be there. His name is Brian Fleming. Um, <clears throat> he was a, uh, a veteran who was was hurt in the Afghanistan war, a uh, suicide bomber. Uh, blew up three feet away from him, and he went through some very serious uh, reconstruction burns and things like that. And he's just coming to Dothan to speak to us a little bit about um, resilience opportunities. You know, when you ha something happens to you that's very traumatic that way, it gives you the ability to, for him, to explain to us a little bit about well, how you get re rebound from that. Uh, it's such an inspiration, I know, to mm. listen to him. And he travels and speaks all over the mm. United States, correct? He does. He's actually written a book as well? He has, and uh, he's going to be really dynamic for us this year, so no question about that. Okay, so let's uh, just talk about when the event kicks off and anyone can attend, correct? That's correct. It's for the public. Okay. It starts at 10 o'clock, uh, Memorial Day ceremony at Sunset Memorial Park. That's at 1700 Barrington Road in Midland City. Okay, and y'all been doing this for, this is the 13th, 13th year. year. It's hard to believe. I know. So just tell us, obviously we know, but just re reiterate to folks why it's so important, why y'all decided to host this type of event. Well, Memorial Day, um, you might notice, is a, you know, time to be away from the work, so vacation day, and that's fine. What we want to do, though, is make it more about our veterans for a moment. You know, Memorial Day is a day that we remember the veterans and what they've done for us. Uh, without them, we wouldn't have our freedom. So and very true. Yeah. It's just an opportunity for us to say thank you. That's all. Well, I love that y'all are doing this event and have done it for several years now. So y'all are going to offer a free picnic lunch. That's correct. And music is going to be provided yeah, as well. Yeah, it's so. outstanding. We have music. We have um, the ice cream man to be there. Oh, everybody um, loves it, him. Oh, it's oh, yeah. so good. <laughs> and, um, and then after the speaker, we'll have um, laying of the uh, flowers at the at their veterans' graves. We'll provide those flowers for vet, for friends to come and do that. <laughs> then after that, we have a little bite to eat. It's a little picnic lunch outside. Okay, so it'll usually wrap up about what time? Right after lunch starts well, at 10? Well, it starts at 10. The ceremony itself lasts about 40 minutes probably, and then um, late in the recess, it's a few minutes, so probably about an hour, hour and a half. Okay, and let's talk specifically about some of the people who are going to be represented from Fort Rucker. Well, the military will have the honor guard there. They'll place the colors for us, so they'll play taps for us. We have the 21-gun salute. It's very, very patriotic. Okay, and uh, let's remind folks once more where y'all are located. <laughs> Most everybody knows, I think. It's uh, we're one mile north of uh, Solomon Chevrolet. As you go up 231 North mm -hmm. uh, after you pass the Alabama State Troopers Office. Take your second right. It'll be well marked. We'll have flags out by the road, balloons, things like that, so you be able to see us turn off uh, 231 on Barrington Road, go one quarter of a mile on the right-hand side. Okay, and just tell us why you said it's free, free lunch. Why should somebody attend? Well, you know, like I said earlier, it's, um, it's, no, it's okay going to the beach and cooking out and going swimming, all that's good. We'll do that too, but we're going to pay for just a moment, take a little bit of time right. to pay homage to our veterans. Yeah, and, the real and, reason that we celebrate exactly. the Exactly. I mean, these, these men and women have given their lives for our freedom, and it won't hurt us for a moment, just a moment, to say thank you. Absolutely, I agree. So anything else you'd like to mention that I didn't ask this morning? I think not. About the event? Did we cover everything? Yes. Okay. Well, thank we, you all so much. We invite everybody to come out. Please be with us. Let's, let's, let's pay our veterans a homage today. Absolutely. Well, thank you all. It's so nice to oh, meet both of y'all. Nice and thank you all for everything that y'all do for the community. It's our honor. Absolutely. And if you want more details, we will be putting more details and specifics on our website, as always, at DothanFirst.com. And stay tuned, friends. Let's go ahead and switch gears and see how things are looking outside again this morning, courtesy of our friends at the Durden Digital Network. And here's a live look at traffic on Red Restaurant Row in the Circle City, and the time is now 6.32 on the clock. And we're back with meteorologist Caroline Coe, and you're keeping it local forecast. Stay with us.